Today I'm going to show you how to clean your flute head joint. Here are the items you're going to need. Obviously your flute head joint. This is a flute cleaning rod. It usually comes with your flute. This is a cleaning swab for the flute. This is actually just a cut up t-shirt, an old t-shirt that I had laying around. I cut it up into a small piece and that's what I use to clean the inside of the flute. I have a little container here because I'm going to end up pouring some isopropyl alcohol into it, and then also a couple of Q-tips as well. So the first thing we're going to do is clean the inside of the flute. Now hopefully you've been doing this all along after every time you play the flute, but just to make sure, let's go ahead and do that anyways. So take a corner of the uh, cotton cloth your flute cleaning rod. There should be an open end to this and you're just going to thread it like a needle with the cloth. You pull it right through and then go inside of the flute head joint. There's an open end and a closed end and you're just going to go back and forth. It should go pretty easily in and out. Like I said, you should be doing this after every time you practice because there will be moisture inside of the head joint, but we're doing it just in case now. That should be good. The next step is we want to clean the outside, the lip plate in particular, because that's where your lips rest. So take your isopropyl alcohol. You don't need much of this. I'm just doing it in a container, so it's a little bit easier. That's all you need. Take your Q-tip, we're going to get it wet with the alcohol. And then we're just cleaning the lip plate here. And it's a good idea too to just kind of go on the inside edge as well. And it's kind of hard for you to see, I'm sure, but I can see on the inside here some of this gunk is coming up really nicely because of the alcohol. And then dunk it again. Now it's really important that you're not getting the inside of this head joint wet because there's actually a cork right here on the inside. So if you get that wet, it can sort of shrivel up, change shapes, and then you'll have to have it completely replaced. So that's not good. Never get the entire head joint wet never submerge it in water. That's why we're just using a little bit of this isopropyl alcohol with a cotton swab on the outside of it. And that should kill the bacteria on the outside. This is good to do probably at least once a month. The more the better, but at the very least once a month is a good rule. And that's all it takes. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.